another week, another Netflix docuseries, and this one is Crime Scene, The Texas Killing Fields. I knew about it because of the Sam Worthington movie that came out 10 years ago. I'm taking a random guess, but how is this docuseries? Let's find out. Chase Flea Hockey here with the Blue Futon, and we are reviewing, like I said, Crime Scene, The Texas Killing Fields. What's it about? It's a very simple premise. Down near the Houston Galveston areas in this Texas Killing Field, we do have about four dead bodies. This is a random area in the 70s, and are we going to find the killer? So, did I like this series? For some reason, I thought the series was missing something. It was hard for me to say. It took me a while to watch this one. There are other docu-series where it comes with crime dramas where I'm like, oh shit, I'm entertained. Continue, continue, continue through the three episodes. But this one, it felt like I needed to take a break after each episode of like, okay, I'm done with this one. I'm going to bed. Now I'll do the second episode. Done with it. Go to bed. So it took me three days to actually finish this one, which is kind of rare for some of these series. But let's talk about the pauses of this series. I do think it goes pretty much in depth differently than other series. This one goes into more of the family members and not so much the cop route because there is a family member here, a father, who has spent his whole life since the 70s trying to figure out who this bad guy is that killed one, two, three, four people. Was it one person? Was it two people? Was it three people? And it does bring in other murders from like northern Texas, which I never understood the gap of why they would think the things that happened in Houston, Galveston area or the Culver City, Texas, and these things that happened near Denton, if I'm not mistaken, how they would connect on any level. But I, I don't know. I don't know. They brought it in the story. I was a little bit confused on why they did that. Also, it was kind of mean spirit, if you want to put it that way, about forgiveness and blaming people that you want to blame for a crime. And this does that a lot of like, you are the killer because this is your land. And he's like, I'm trying to help. But everyone's blaming him, blaming him, blaming him because of that. He basically commits suicide. And it feels like no one was really sorry for that. So there's a little stuff in this story where I just felt no more remorse for some of these people that like pushed the guy over an edge saying you must be the killer of these four girls. And they real right and they later realized he wasn't. He commits suicide and everyone's like, another dead soul. And you're just like, that, that's all we're gonna say about this person? So there's just some things in this docuseries that I just felt like itty gritty about where I'm just like, ew. But yeah, I focus a lot of the negative on that part, but I do think talking about the different victims in this story, the family members, I do think it's very entertaining on what they decided to do. But like I said, there's something about it that just felt missing that just felt a little more empty than other docuseries. So yes, this one goes into like, oh, it could be this person, this person, this person. But I don't know. Something about this one just felt empty and cold-hearted. And yes, it it probably should be empty and cold-hearted because it's about murdering four women, six women total that maybe had to do with the crime. I don't know, but it just felt felt dirty after this. Like Other ones, I felt closure. I felt okay. This person felt remorse. This person felt remorse. We had some type of puzzle pieces. This one, the puzzle pieces weren't there. And yes, that is life. You're not going to find all the puzzle pieces. However, I still can't get it out of my head about this guy committing suicide. And I'm seeing no remorse for like anyone in this series. They pushed the guy. I don't know. This is a weird one to review. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Let's put it that way. So crime scene, the Texas killing fields will receive a two and a half out of five of futons, which equals at 50%. See the correction you scores gave this one. So critics, there's three of them, and all of them are positive. Audience score of 58%. So we have 100, 58, 50. Chase Talk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Topia. You Blue Futonians, thank you for watching. Have a great day. This is by far my worst docuseries review, bar none. But like I said, I watched it, and it's just like... I just... Something just didn't sit right with me. And it's hard for me to explain with this one. That's all. I'm a shit reviewer sometimes.